Look at the flame that thing's putting out. That's only been on there like five minutes. Up to 12 minutes. It's already boiling. You need a noodle? Call this the courtyard. It's starting to fill up. It's Thursday. Uh, this weekend it'll be completely full. It'll be packed, especially with the Renaissance Fair. The pasta's starting to boil. We moved to spot number one, site number one, and you can see it is a lot bigger. Look at this. Let me show you something. The site one at Casa de Fruta RV Park, and we were down at the other end down there, and there wasn't much action down there, but this is so much better. And you see, we got two sites here. You pay for one, but you got this number one and number two here. And uh, we've actually been in RV parks where there would actually be another RV right here. For the price of one, you get two spots. And this is where they're starting to fill up for this weekend. The Renaissance Fair is here till October the 20th, every weekend. And man, I'm, we're going to go next weekend, or uh, next Saturday, which is a couple of days from now. And you can see this courtyard here. What they do is they actually, all the way around the perimeter of what I call the courtyard, there's bathrooms over there. These people come in here, there's family reunions, get togethers, people who know one another. And uh, you see them all the time pull up next to one another and, uh, and they're greeting one another with hugs and so forth. Really a great place. I like this tent over here. We actually know this gentleman over here. But look at that setup. Isn't that neat? That's neat, man. Anyway, all that we're gonna do uh, on these, and you see the cabins here. Well, actually, before we leave here, we're taking a tour of one of these cabins. And uh, these are new ones they're setting up. There's 10 new ones. And uh, give you a tour of that. And you see right now, all this will fill up. All these empty spots, all these vacant spaces will spill, uh, will fill up this weekend. It's really exciting to be back down here where all the action is taking place because like I say, we were down there at the other end and uh, nothing was going on, you know. But, uh, so we're right here at number one. If you come here, this is number one or number 23. These, if you like action, if you like everything that's going on, meeting people seeing people these are the spots you want number one which is which is by the month number 23 which is by the day or the week the only thing you have to contend with here at casa de fruto rv park is busy really busy highway 152 right there it doesn't bother me as much because i'm uh, extremely hard of hearing but to some people with good hearing I'm sure it can be uh, quite annoying, but if you can uh, get over that part, uh, it's really one of the best RV parks we've ever, we've ever been in. And on, you can go all the way down. Let me show you here. Don't come in this way. You can get in your car and go all the way down. The complete 100 acres, you can see a light way down at the end. You see down there, car light? You can go all the way. They have a, a place in a wine tasting and a restaurant where you can have a a beer if you want and you can drive back without getting on the public highways but it's even twice as far as that car light you see down there it's even twice that far you never have to get on the main highway so you don't have to break the law and then the renaissance fair is this way probably i say another 500 feet that way and uh, you'll be at the renaissance fair but it's really a great place it's our favorite place to be we came here to just get some gasoline. We didn't know that in an RV park. We saw a sign. We saw a sign that read our, uh, camping RV park this way. And it was getting late, man. We've been stuck in traffic for five See, hours. And we, no matter which way we go, we're in a traffic jam. We've been in traffic jam about four or five hours now. Hours, and we came across this place and ended up staying here for over two months. And it's been a blast. It's been a blast. We've stayed away from the big city like San Francisco and, and San Jose because it's just too much traffic. And we've heard too many bad things about San Francisco. I don't know how true it is, but I did do some research and I don't think I want to go there. Uh, I was stationed in Alameda back in the, uh, from 69 to 72. I was in the Navy at Alameda Naval Air Station. And uh, I actually went to school 
they had a called project transition where you go to college. They take six months. If you last six months in the Navy, they would send you to college. And I went to the University of California, Berkeley Extension Center in uh, San Francisco. And it was called Project Transition. It was to uh, get you ready to go to uh, your major university, which I was going to LSU, which I did. And I've been to San Francisco, I can't even tell you how many times. Certainly more than a hundred. And it was a nice place. But I could still, I could see even then, it was starting to transition into something that maybe, you know, I didn't want anything to do with. But uh, anyway, that being said, anyway, you can see uh, all of this over here. You got some really good scenery over here. And uh, over here, that's more of the courtyard over here. That's the bathrooms right there. A lot of tent camping, a lot of tent camping over here. Very nice people. There are some tent campers over here. Like I said, I know them. This is this part from where we are all the way back on the main part here, not the grassy part, but all the roads here. These are the full time people are, or let me rephrase that. It's the month to month people. And, uh, uh, you can tell when you get a little further back, there are some people who have uh, been here quite a while, and that uh, it's easy to see. Uh, just, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But this is a very beautiful place. It's a very nice place. I would highly recommend Casa de Frutti RV Park. It, uh, the, the friendly staff, the staff is friendly. The management is friendly. You get your packages here except for when I was in the Navy. I never thought I'd live in California again, but it's been fun to be here. The weather's been actually beautiful. It is just beautiful looking sky. It's beautiful here. You see the stars every night. The temperature is not overbearing. It's really, really a great place. And uh, so I just want to give you a review on the park itself. It has laundry mat. It has, uh, I mean, a laundry. It has a store, gas. Just, just about anything you can think of. Everybody's friendly. It's a really, really nice place. If we ever come back to California and we need a, a place to stay, it's gonna be here at Casa de Fruta. I, I can't say enough about it. They put a lot into this. They are even adding more, renovating more, doing more as I speak. They're constantly working on this place. I can't tell you how many people work here it's it's just so many it's like i don't know how many a couple of hundred i don't know even more maybe but it's a great place you don't have to go to the big cities we don't intend to do that you can uh, have a good time without going into the big cities there's so much around here to see i think just uh just behind me here you can see the mountains nice place well kept good people the trash here they pick up the trash here like every day they're on their own trash pickup service, I guess the right way to say. Anyway, this is 23 right here. And if you like action, if you like to see people coming and going, if you like to see what's going on, this one right here is where you want to be here. Now, this is the week, the weekly or the daily. And across the street over there is the, across the street from this white pickup truck is the uh, monthly. So you'll enjoy it if you come here i think you see here you got you got quite a bit of space here on this one you look at number 23 here you've got all of this you got your fire pit we got the whole section here all the way around here all of this handle any size rig that uh, may happen to have anyway i just got a little quick update or give a little quick synopsis of Casa de Frute RV Park. Out right here, we parked under the trees. We don't even need the awning out. It's just nice and cool under these trees all day long. That's all, no fancy tricks. We do have another food video coming up. We're making chicken alfredo, and I'll try to go a little slower with the camera. I try to do jump shots, and uh, Sometimes it's just a little bit quick. So uh, bear with me. I'm learning. I love doing it. I love sharing all our travels with you. Maybe you learn something from our videos. Maybe you, one of you may see this and say, you know, I think I'll go there. So anyway, this old man's going to say, I'll catch you later. 
and um, you know give us a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment share the video uh, we appreciate that like I say we do this for a hobby we do it for the love of it for the love of sharing with uh, fellow RVers and uh, and anybody actually uh, so and uh, you take care and uh, we'll see you next video